Hello everyone, welcome to Windows Wednesday. Today we will discuss how we can create our own cloud storage without using any third party application or services available. To do that, we need to install a server on our local machine. We will go to this website uh, and download an application. What this application will do, it will create a server within your laptop and it will allow your other devices to be able to access the data you're going to share using this application. Now, the difference between this application and, and other application available in the market like OneDrive, uh, uh, Dropbox and uh, One um, and Google Drive is that uh, you don't have to upload your data onto any cloud storage. Your data will uh, locally available on your machine and uh, and you will be able to access uh, from any device that you like. So what I've just did is I install uh, application um, on my laptop as well as I installed the same application on my um, iPhone as well. So once I configured my application on my laptop, I will have to give it a name. As you can see, I gave it a name of my PC01 and I'm, I'm clicking on getting started. Now, once it's done, you will have to add a share folder uh, to this application so that the, the, you will not be able, you will not be sharing everything from your machine. You will be deciding what to share. So in this scenario, I'm creating a new folder um, so I can show you how it will work. So I'm sharing, I'm creating a new folder call, uh, as you can see on my screen, and I'm gonna select this folder. Um, and as soon as I do that, this folder will be available within my personal cloud cloud storage, and it will only be available on my machine, not on the cloud uh, or any any other services. So once I do that, um, um, and uh, if I try to access this on my other devices will be still available so i'm gonna do that i'm as I, I have downloaded an app on my iphone so i'm gonna you i'm gonna uh, register my iphone device using a qr code but you have so many different ways that you can use to access one is the link link like when you share a google drive or one drive the same the link will work the same way other function is key where you have to uh, um, provide the key to someone else who is using a, a laptop and you will have a permanent sync between the devices but we are testing it here the barcode way so we can register our iphone app so as you can see i've just started uh, a app and and i'm gonna scan this barcode using my um, app by clicking on this plus icon as soon as i do that it will ask me how you how you're gonna register so i'm gonna click on scan qr code and then I will point my camera towards this uh, QR code and the system will recognize it automatically. And the folder that I shared on my local machine will be available um, uh, on my mobile phone to access. Now, as you can see, the folder is available. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a couple of uh, uh, files uh, on my folder uh, on my laptop and they will, uh, they will start appearing um, on my mobile phone straight away. I'm going to create, I'm going to right click and create a file. And as soon as I do that, as, as you can see, the file is straight away available, but it's only showing, showing you the name of the file is not downloaded yet. So if you want to download a file, you will have to click on it for it to download. So the reason why it doesn't download, it doesn't want uh, to download everything from your machine onto your mobile phone it might uh, uh, occupy more more space on your phone which you don't need so hence the reason it will only access the uh, only download the file when you click into it and before that it will only be available as a name so as you can see it's just uh, and it will, it will also allow me to manipulate the file if you want to save and and share it with someone else or remove it from this device this If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you want me to cover any other topic, leave the comment down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye.